Big shout out to Autonomous Drone Services and MadMixTube.com for providing us with the equipment to make these videos possible. Woo! Tell me this drone is not incredible. Tell me this drone is not incredible. I dare you. Tell me. I'm going to smack you in the face. I'm just kidding. Through the course of flying this drone more and more almost every single day, I have come to realize one particular thing that's very important and it's a practice that you should do as long as you own this drone. Now, I've been flying this drone for a while and I haven't had any particular kind of issues. A few nitpicks and stuff like that, which I'm not going to get into right now, but for the most part, love it. On the go kind of a run and gun thing, love it. But recently here in New York City, it's been extremely windy. I'm talking, check out my last video up here, 53 mile an hour wind gusts. It's been that windy that I was flying the Mavic Mini at night. That's real crazy wind. Now, I did not check the wind. I went outside, I opened the door to, to film my focus and filming what it is that I came for, which is night flying. And the wind just felt like wind, you know, it just felt like a windy night and it didn't really, you know, go crazy. I took the drone off, it started pushing down a little bit, fighting the wind, but these are things that I've seen a lot with this when flying in heavy winds. But again, I had no idea that the wind was that heavy until I started flying. Uh, I started trying to get close to the bridge. That didn't work out, it was just too windy. I, windy. I was getting tossed around. Then as the battery went low and lower, I found that I was really having a hard time struggling with the wind and then it was a point where the drone just started blowing backwards and then when I started trying to fly forward, it didn't work. I jumped into sports mode, didn't work, sports mode and the drone is backing up. Long story short, I did three things which I want to share with you to help get this drone back. I looked at my wife and I was like, hey, the Mini might be gone, just letting you know. I'm flying full force forward in sports mode and it's not coming back. So I went outside, a few, three things that I did. I tilted the gimbal down a little bit. I started to look down and that's kind of dangerous because when you're slightly looking down, you can't see what's in front of you. But it did help. I don't know why. I can't explain how. Maybe the wind was going in between or something. But it helped me to at least fight and start to move forward a little bit as opposed to backing up in reverse. The second thing that I did was lower my altitude. I started lowering my altitude even with the gimbal tilt. And that makes things even more dangerous because the lower you go, especially here in New York City, the chances are you might hit something trying to return home or fly back home because the lower you are the more susceptible you are to hitting things and the third thing that i did was jump in and out of sports mode my finger was on the top left of the screen toggling between p mode uh, c mode and sports mode and then i would hold it in sports mode and fight and fight and fight and fight and when i felt like i couldn't fight anymore i toggle 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 and jump 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 into different modes and the drone drifted back and then when it hit sports mode again it give it a little burst and then when i got forward i got forward a little bit the wind was fighting back i jump 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 and it just kept between that, lowering the altitude and keeping the gimbal tilted, looking up to see where I am tilting down, I managed to get the drone home. But when I went to this app, which is what I want to talk to you guys about, UAV forecast, that's when I realized what was going on. I couldn't believe it. It didn't feel like that but it was and I'll teach you guys a few tips right now number one if you click on each item it shows you the weather if it's sunny blah 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 it shows you uh, sun sunrise sunset it shows you uh, wind chill it shows you wind in uh, at, at specific altitude now if you click on that wind you can you can set the max wind to 30 set it to 40 i recommend as a beginner set it to like 20 miles an hour you don't or 15 miles or 18 miles an hour 
you don't want to be flying over that because things can get really challenging uh, you can set the wind altitude as well you scroll it left and right just to raise the altitude I say before you go flying know what altitude you're gonna fly at say you're gonna fly at 200 max height set the wind the wind altitude to 200 so that way you kind of get the best accuracy as possible you can set it to feet kilometers miles an hour everything so basically every single tile that you click on you can set whatever you want it to uh, you can set your parameters for that so why would I set the minimum temperature because that's telling the app the temperature that I want to trigger the app going from green to red so if I want the minimum temperature to be 49 degrees you see how the tile went red now I'm telling the app that at 33 now I'm telling the app at 49 degrees Fahrenheit I don't want to fly because it's dangerous so go to your Mavic Mini uh, check what's the operating temperature I believe it's like I don't know I think it's like I'll leave it in uh, right here what's the minimum operating temperature and set the app to that take some time invest into the app and set it up to what your Mavic Mini can and can handle and that way you don't ever have to worry you just do it once and every time you open the app it'll tell you being good to fly or mm, not good to fly my point is you have complete control over all of these different things visibility you can tell it what's the visibility you want right uh, to set it to do you want 10 miles visibility I would say two miles visibility is more than enough you shouldn't be flying two miles or maybe one mile is fine too um, you set up your visibility to what you want if you if your visibility is below two miles then guess what it's gonna go from green to red indicating to you not to fly and that's the cool thing about this app it's really easy to set up even satellite locks you can tell it how much is the minimum satellites that you want clearance right right now we don't have 20 satellites lights visible in the sky we only have 18 and that's why it's saying it's not good to fly I would like to put it somewhere around uh, 12 satellites is where I recommend so that's just my personal recommendation guys this is not a tutorial how to use the app yeah, the app is not that hard it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward right now the, the wind speed is three miles an hour and six miles an hour gusts at 200 feet which is going to be my maximum altitude I've never flown this drone at 400 feet and I really don't recommend anyone to fly it at 400 feet unless it's a day like today with three and six which is absolutely common and still and in my opinion things at 400 feet don't really look that nice the only time I go up that high is if I have to clear something that's 300 or 350 feet then I will go that high other than that things look pretty nice to me around 150 200 that's my usual operating uh, height with any drone these days so yeah just thought i'd share that with you guys i hope this information is helpful i hope it's useful i hope that you download this app it's uav forecast it's available for ios and and android uh, smartphones do open it every time before you go and fly because sometimes the wind feels like 20 miles an hour that's what it felt like to me that night and it obviously was not because i've flown this in 20 mile an hour winds and never had a problem it was obviously extreme it just didn't feel that way at least not on the ground maybe there was the bridge there that was blocking some of the wind and stuff like that but as soon as i went up over the bridge i felt it it could have been lots of other things but my point is go in prepared guys because cutting weight down on a drone does come with a sacrifice and this drone <laughs> Let me tell you something guys, I know guys won't even fly the Mavic Pro, they won't even fly the Mavic 2 Pro, they won't even fly the Phantom 4 Pro that night that I flew this Mavic Mini. So yeah, that says something, that says a lot. You, and you can go to the forecast section over here hit that too and it gives you a forecast as the time goes on further and further so you can plan your flights even better so guys I just felt like I must share this information with you I hope it was useful to you I hope you download this app and use it now the app is not a hundred percent accurate but guess what it's accurate enough for you to use to determine whether to fly this little bad boy or not with that being said guys I'd love to thank my sponsors autonomous drone services dot com and madmixtube.com for sponsoring us this DJI Mavic Mini and guys notice my sponsors are not DJI they really 
don't care what I say about this drone. As a matter of fact, when I called Kevin and the crew down there at uh, Autonomous Drone Services, they asked me first, what do I think about this drone? And I said, great drone for beginners. And then they were like, and? And I was like, great drone for beginners. What, what more do you want me to say? Great drone for beginners. With that, they purchased it and got it, knowing what it was right so that's pretty much what this is if you want to make this a travel drone it may frustrate you depending on how deep your travels go and what type of shots you're looking for so i would not even suggest you make this into a travel drone just appreciate it for what it is guys and enjoy flying this especially in times like now run and gun pop your app open double check make sure you're good to go boom you are in the air and enjoy this little guy with that being said guys thumbs up thumbs thumbs down whichever one works for you uh, make sure you hit subscribe guys hit that bell icon so you can get notified hit that bell so you can get notified last but not least guys share my video share it in the groups that you're in share it with people that you know share it with anyone who is interested in drones or looking to buy a drone for the first time guys please share my content everywhere you are mention me to people so people know that i'm out here making these videos for you guys and anyone who owns the dji mavic mini drone with that said guys i appreciate you guys i thank my patrons for continuing support on and on and on month in month out year in year out and um as we close the year off i just want to say thank you and i will see you guys when i can